Google Search has some really cool features and tools to help you when you're doing your research. Let's take a look at Google Books. Let's say I'm researching the topic of the Civil War. When I do my search, I have the option of selecting books. Now I have books, but I also want to dive down a little bit deeper and get some more search tools to help me refine my search. So I'm going to select search tools and then come down to any books and select free Google eBooks. This will allow me to search lots of different free Google books that are in the public domain. And if I wanted to, I could also select only books or magazines. I could choose a specific time by putting in a custom range. And I can also sort by date or relevance. So, let's say I want to add a time. I would select custom range and maybe I want to find information from 1860 to 1870. I would select go and this will refine my search searching for books with 1860 to 1870 as the custom range. So let's say I select this book brings it up as a scanned version that will allow me to navigate throughout the book and it will highlight every single time it has the word Civil War. But let's say I want to change that to something else. Maybe I want to search for Abraham Lincoln. So now this tells me exactly how many times the word Abraham Lincoln appears and what page number they're on. Here it says showing eight results in this book for Abraham Lincoln and they're all page 270, 135, and so on. Let's say I want to check out page 135. I can select it here and now I can read more about Abraham Lincoln. Let's say I want to continue my research but I want to use a different tool. This time I'm going to use Google Scholar. And to get to Google Scholar, I can just do a simple Google search, select Google Scholar, and I can begin researching inside of Google Scholar. So again, I'm going to search for Civil War, and I'm going to click search. Now again, I can choose my custom range. So for here, I'll add in 1860 to 1870 and refine my search. Now you can see I have citations and I have books, but I can also get articles. If I want to refine my search even further, I could click the down arrow and go to advanced search. And now I have these different fields that I could add to refine my search. In addition, I can also save my citations. I can choose to have them emailed to me, and I can also include my areas of interest in a homepage. For now, we'll take a look at this book. Again, it searched all the books in all the magazines in Google Scholar, and I can scroll down and look for times that the word Civil War appears in this text. If I want to refine it, I can also again search for Abraham Lincoln, click go, and it will show me six results that have the words Abraham Lincoln. So if I visit page 800, I can read this text and find out more information about Abraham Lincoln. Now let's say I want to research a topic using newspapers. I can actually go up to the Omnibar and search news.google.com slash newspapers that will bring me to the archive of Google newspapers. Here is where I can search by different newspapers alphabetically, or I can also search by topic. So now what I'm going to do is look for the Berlin Wall and select Search Archive. And you can see here that it automatically included the tag sitenews.google.com slash newspapers. In addition, I could come over to Search Tools and instead of any time, I can select a custom range. 
So now I'm going to start from 1970 forward to see if I can get some information. So let's say I find this one and I want to click on it to get some more information. What it'll do is actually bring up the newspaper and I can scan it and I can come over here and select different parts of the newspaper for me to explore. Another shortcut I could use is by simply typing in site colon news dot google dot com slash newspapers and that will actually bring me to the archive. So if I wanted to research a different topic such as the Titanic I could search using that operator. So the next time you're conducting research be sure to check out Google Books, Google Scholar, and Google Newspaper Archives.